So, in the last video, I tested out how many 3D trees I can have in the scene at once. But how many billboard trees can I have in the distance? This is important information if I want a huge procedurally generated forest. So here is a scene where I generated over 100,000 billboard trees in Godot. With this and the last video, I'm trying to get a good feel for what the limitations are in this game engine. And I thought it was a good idea to document this experiment for anyone else who is curious like me. This map is actually way too small for 100,000 trees. I think, probably, 25,000 would be more than enough for a dense forest on this map. I find something satisfying about the river so I will just play around here for a second. As you can see here, my tree billboards are not flat squares. I found this odd shape to add some much needed shading to the billboards without sacrificing any noticeable amount of performance. So, this map was a great testing ground up to this point, but I wonder how many trees I could generate on a larger map over a greater distance. Well, there is only one way to find out. Here I'm casting 1.2 million rays to the ground to find spawn locations for trees. And I'm setting the number of trees that can be generated in each block to 800. Blocks do nothing for now, it's just some prep for the LOD system I will code later. It took 30 seconds to generate. But here is a map with 320,000 trees. If you look closely at the distant hills, you can see them gradually populate with trees. This is a trick I found when experimenting with Godot's built-in LOD system. It isn't very useful for my project, but I can use it to gradually hide or unhide distant trees. Inside the billboard prefab I add an empty mesh instance 3D. And set the begin and end distance so that it replaces the billboard at a distance. Then in code I adjust this distance, factoring the scale of the tree into the high distance. This creates a smoother effect where small trees are hidden first followed by larger trees gradually. And that's it for now.
In the next video, I'll have my LOD system implemented. Unfortunately, in Godot, billboards point in the inverse direction that the camera is facing. Not to the position of the camera in world space. It should not be that bad when billboards are only on the horizon. But if it is a noticeable problem later, I can write a script to manually rotate them ever so often. Billboards also freak out when rotating the camera upside down.